Hi, my name is Joel Christ. I'm a developer with Acona Systems, and today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of some sample code that illustrates how to create a basic column chart in Excel 2007. We're going to implement a console application using VB.net in Microsoft Visual Studio 2005 that's going to automate Excel 2007 to create a workbook with a single worksheet in it that's going to contain an embedded 3D column chart. So before we can program against Excel's object model, the first thing we need to do is add a reference to Excel's interop assembly. And the way we do that is to come over here to the Solution Explorer and click on the References folder and choose to add a reference. On the COM tab in the Add Reference folder, if we scroll down to the Microsoft Excel 12.0 object library and select that, that adds a reference to the interop assembly for Excel. The next step now is to import the namespace for the office.interop.excel namespace so we can program against the objects here. So we right click on the property or on the project name, come down here and choose the properties tab or menu item, click on the references tab, and then down here scroll down to the imported namespaces and then scroll down within there to the entry for the office.interop.excel namespace and select that. And then go ahead and close the properties page to save that import. So now at this point now we're ready to insert some code. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> okay, let's take a look at the code. Um, the first thing you notice is we've added a helper method here called set cell value and this is just to ease the process of getting some data, sample data into our worksheet for the chart to work upon. So we call set cell value down below and we'll take a look at that. And all that it does is it takes a value in a cell and basically writes that value to that cell on the target worksheet. And we actually come down here and start taking a look at the code that we're, we're going to use to implement the embedded chart. And the first thing we do is we declare some variables to hold on to references to the different Excel objects that we're going to be working with. Um, and then we declare a path or variable to hold the path to the workbook we're creating. And then down here you'll see we declare some variables for some parameters to the chart.chart wizard method. The chart.chart wizard method is the method we're going to use to embed the 3D column chart into our worksheet. And we'll go over what these parameters mean and how they're used in more detail when we look at the code that calls the chart wizard method down below. So the first thing the code does is it goes ahead and instantiates an instance of Excel by creating an instance of the application class object. Goes ahead then and uses the workbooks collection to add a workbook with a single worksheet in it. Gets that worksheet that it is in that new workbook and changes the name of it to the quarterly sales. And then the next thing the code does is it comes along and inserts some data, some sample data for the chart to work on. And we're just going to insert some fictional quarterly sales data for these different regions here and we want the data to look like this in these cells, these rows and columns. So we use our helper method here, the set cell value function to set up our data to make it look like this. And these are all the calls for that. Now if you come down here we actually get to the point where we're actually doing stuff to create the chart. And the first thing we do is we get a data range or a range object that represents the range of cells that holds the data that we just inserted up above, cells A1 through E5. And then we go ahead and get the chart objects collection for the target sheet. And then off that, we go ahead and add a new chart by calling the add method. And we specify the location for where we want the chart to be positioned, as well as its size, its height, and its width. And that gives us this new chart object over here. We hold on to it with this variable here. And then at that point there, we access the chart property off of our chart object, um, and then call the chart wizard method. And this is what's going to actually create the new chart um, in our worksheet. And the chart wizard method accepts a number of parameters. Um, the first one is a range object which specifies the range of cells that the chart should work upon. So we use our, our data range that we got up above. Second parameter is the type of chart we want to create. And in this case here we're specifying a 3D column chart. The chart format parameter, let's take a look at our variable values up above. The chart format variable is set to a value of 1. What this is is a, just a simple value that specifies which format of 3D column chart we want to create. And what this means is it depends upon what type of chart you're creating. So we're picking that we want format number 1 of the available 3D column chart formats. 
the next parameter is the plot by parameter. And what that does is it specifies whether the data for each series in the chart is in rows or columns. And in this case here, the series data for this chart is, and for the data that we inserted above, is row based. So we specify Excel rows. Now the next two parameters, uh, the category labels and series labels, what those are, those are integers that specify the number of rows or columns within the source range that contains the, the category labels. So in this case here, since our data, the series is row based, um, a value of zero for the category label specifies that the category labels for the chart are located in row zero of the source range. And the series labels, value of zero specifies that the series labels for the chart are located in column zero of the source range. Um, the next parameter here is just a boolean that specifies whether or not we want the chart to display a legend. We're setting that to true to show a legend. And then the final three parameters have to do with titles. Uh, the parameter here is for the overall title of the chart. Sales by quarter is what we're setting it to. Uh, the category title, we're specifying fiscal quarter since our categories are quarters of the year. And the value title is um, going to be set to a value of, of billions. And when we actually take a look at the chart that gets created, you'll see how these values and these parameters get applied to the chart. So at this point here, after we call the chart wizard method, this will embed the chart at this location with this size. We positioned it below our data uh, that we inserted up above. And the next thing the code does is it goes ahead and saves the workbook out using the path that we specified, which in this case here, we'll write it to the desktop. And then finally, the code comes down here and in the finally block, goes ahead and releases all the references to the objects that we got up above, um, closes the workbook, releases it, closes the Excel application and releases it, and then calls the .NET garbage collector to make sure we release all the resources that have been allocated to us. So let's go ahead and build the application. Looks like it succeeded. Now if we go ahead and run it, okay, press any key to continue means that it ran to completion. And if we go ahead and take a look now on our desktop, we have chart test.xlsx. And if we look inside there, we should see our worksheet, which we do, called quarterly sales. It contains the data that we inserted in the format that we specified. And then here's our sales chart, sales by quarter. And you can see it's got our title. Here's our billions label over here, our fiscal quarter label. Here's our legend. And everything looks good. So what we just illustrated is that basically with a single line of code by calling the, the chart wizard method, we were able to actually go ahead and fairly easily programmatically embed a chart into our worksheet.